This video is brought to you by Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist, my new book which is a comprehensive guide to all aspects of music theory necessary for playing rock guitar. From blues to the cycle of fifths, from understanding and using modes to choosing the right notes for a melodic solo, from pentatonic scales to chord construction and keys, it's all covered in a clear and concise manner. With accompanying video demonstrations, jam tracks and tabs, you learn to use the knowledge you gain in accessible ways that make sense for less than the cost of a few guitar lessons. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, growing up in the 70s, there was one band who were just everywhere. Um, every single they released was just guaranteed to make it to the upper echelons of the top 40, if not the number one slot itself. Uh, hit after hit after hit. And then... In the early 80s, they just kind of disappeared, really. there was uh, We didn't really hear much from them for about 20 years. Then, in 1999, they had a massive comeback with a global hit. A great song, and I, I at the time thought, yep, yeah, they're back and they're as great as ever. This is going to be the start of another kind of uh, domino effect of uh, a string of hits. Uh, like they had in the 70s. Sadly, that wasn't the case, but um, what a great song it is anyway. The song is called Maria, and the band is Blondie, and this is the solo from that song. And here's a short little explanation about what's going on in the solo. Solo explanation. Okay then, beginning as always by taking a look at the chord sequence the solo is played over. It goes like this. So F sharp minor is very much where we begin and um, the first eight bars of the solo where we're kind of cycling back and forth between the F sharp minor and the B major. Technically that is in the F sharp Dorian mode and here's just a quick little uh, kind of tell for anything that you want to see in the that you think might be in the Dorian mode. Uh, if you've got an F sharp minor going to a B major, if you've got a minor chord with its root note there and a major chord with its root note on the next string down at the same fret, um, providing you know the, the minor chord is the one that everything is in orbit around and resolving to, then you are in the Dorian mode. <clears throat> And the Dorian mode is very much the scale that uh, the solo kicks off with. Um, F sharp Dorian contains the notes of F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then back to F sharp again. It's basically an F sharp natural minor scale, but instead of the, the flat six, which would be a D, we get the D sharp instead. And as I say, that is um, very much where we begin the solo with this little double stop lick here. Uh, we're barring the uh, top two strings at the fifth fret and hammering on to the seventh fret on the B string. So, like this, it's difficult for me to get that double stop at the moment. There we go. And notice the, um, the way it resolves into that B chord there on that D sharp and B note. And uh, that is the extent of the use of the Dorian mode in this solo, um, certainly in terms of the lead part. Uh, for the rest of, well, for the rest of the next, um, of the first eight bars, we're basically in F sharp minor pentatonic. Uh, kind of playing out with that first position box there. There, just that typical kind of uh, string bend that we all seem to do uh, on the third string in box one pentatonic. Um, so and you see we're just kind of coming down to the lower extension of the scale. There like that and again. When I, a little tip for you, when I'm bending um, 
on off an open string like that, I will often use the first finger, brace it against the side of the neck like that and pull down. <laughs> like that and hopefully get it a bit more in tune than that um then that's us done with the uh, the f sharp minor chord we're on to the b chord next and he plays a little bit of b major pentatonic so those notes there b up to the d sharp from the, the c sharp and uh, f sharp g sharp and back to the b again Then we hit the, um, the the little bit of a key change that happens towards the end of the solo where we hit a D chord and an E chord. Those chords aren't in F sharp Dorian, they are in either A major or F sharp natural minor. And as we're resolving at the end of the solo into the chorus of the song, which is um, in the uh, A major key, um, it makes sense to think of it like that. And we're just playing um, this um, F sharp and D note, F sharp, on the fourth string, D on the second string, like a little kind of uh, pair of sixth, kind of thing that you'd get in a country song, kind of thing. And then just kind of decorating it with that um, E note on the fifth fret of the B string. And then just into an E chord up at the seventh fret, like that. Uh, for to play over the bar of E, sometimes <laughs> the best thing to play in a lead guitar part is a is a chord, and that's what he does there. And then we settle on the A major chord as the chorus comes back in. So, um, you know, an accessible, easy, tuneful little solo that uses a little bit of the Dorian mode, a lot of um, you know, kind of playing to the chord changes, um, not in a jazz sense. Uh, but you know kind of um, when we have the B chord and he plays the B major pentatonic over it when we have the F sharp minor chord and we play the F sharp minor pentatonic over it that kind of thing it's clear that he's aware of um, you know the chord changes as they're passing by and playing to those is uh, one of the things that makes this solo sound um, nice and tuneful and memorable and melodic so there you go now you know what to do go away and have some fun with it yourself and as always, you'll find a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing the solo, that explanation you've just seen there, and a backing track to play over yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, link in the description. $3, or I think it's £3 a month, and you get access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. And a massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that, or any of the other ways, all of which are, you know, uh, down in the description. And that is pretty much the video for today, folks. I uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it useful informative and maybe even entertaining in some small way if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so why not drop me a like as well while you're at it uh, as always don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we have a beer and we talk about stuff usually guitar and music related but any any topic is up for grabs it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourself folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now